everybody, welcome on Crypto Casing TV. My name is Eugene, and today's topic is the Ram the Ram Ledger Nano. It's it's the first time for me I'm using a Ledger Nano. I never had one before, and the previous edition was the Ledger Nano S version. This version has a battery inside. You can connect it wireless via Bluetooth with your computer. This one is heavier than the previous edition because of the battery I got right now, one hour ago. Shipped by DPD, dynamic parcel distribution, and yeah, how much? 119 euros, and they're shipping it from France. Your private keys giving access to your crypto assets can easily be stolen online. Make sure to keep them safe and available anywhere you go with the Ledger Nano X state of the art Bluetooth enabled hardware wallets. This is what I say you can connect with wireless. Cool. With Trezor Model T, you can do it. Why I decided to buy a Ledger Nano X? Because they're supporting more cryptos and they're supporting an, one project which I wanted to stake, which I wanted to delegate. And Trezor Model T does not do it for this project which I wanted to delegate. Okay, I will say let's unbox. You are doing it with me here the first time. Well, it's my first unboxing video ever. Nice box, I would say. Ooh, nice thing. Can you see? Cool. Wow, nice make. I, I thought it would be smaller. Here we go. A completely new Ledger Nano X. Let's remove here the wrap and take more look. A nice piece of metal and plastic. Well, let's go inside of the box. Welcome papers. A USB cable. And a loop, a nice made loop here. Cool. What else? Yeah, that's all. Let's take a look in the handbooks. Recovery sheet. Cool. You can write down your passphrase here with 24 words. Getting started. And a nice stickers, ledger stickers. Let's connect it. To my computer, I will do it right now, not via Bluetooth, USB-C to USB-C. Welcome to Ledger Nano X, press right button to continue. There are two buttons, we have one button at the right side, this one, and we have one button at the left side. Let's press the button. Download Ledger Live at ledger.com slash start, then press right. Okay. Till now, everything easy made. Let's go to ledger.com slash start and download the software, in my case, for Mac. Download now. Let's install it. On the metal piece, you see the ledger sign and at the bottom, they write virus and numeris. Well, uh, this is the right position. Virus and numeris. It comes from Latin, means like the power is in the numbers. <laughs> it is. The power is in the z ones and zeros. Welcome to Ledger Live. Get started. Let's go. Initialize as in the ones. This is the nano X. Continue. Very nice, mate. I have a call right now. Can't call. Sorry. Connect the Ledger Nano X to your computer. Press both buttons to choose set up as a new device. Save your recovery passphrase. Your device will display 24 words recovery passphrase to back up your private keys. Write down each word on a blank recovery sheet while keeping the order. Tap next and write down all words until the confirmation screen appears. Enter each word to confirm your recovery passphrase. Oh, it's the same. Write down your recovery passphrase. Okay. These 
24 words are your only backup. Secure them carefully. And this one, they're not making jobs of you. When you have a tracer or you have a ledger like this here, please write carefully every word down. Doesn't matter are the 12 or 24 or how much they gonna give you or the system give you the words. But those passphrases is the most important. It means when you lose your ledger, when you lose your cold storage, you can only get your coins with this passphrase. So let's go for the 20 words passphrase. Let's write them down. As soon as you've written down your passphrase, 24 words, hide the passwords, the passphrase from everyone. It's for your safety. Okay, I done it. Let's continue. And by the way, the cryptographic algorithm which is using here for this nano ledger X is the most secure one. Visa and MasterCard using them also. So I've written down all my words, so let's continue. So the setup process is so far is ready. Your device is ready to use. Cool. Let's go to inside. Let's go back here. Did you have a did you choose your pin? Yes. Did you save your recovery passwords by yourself? Yes. And the last one is your ledger device genuine. Well I hope let's check it. <laughs> Connect and unlock your ledger device. So if you go inside the manager, add catalog, you can search for a coin. Let's say Tezos. Installing Tezos wallet. This is very nice. I like the software of the Ledger Nano. So let's install one more time the Bitcoin version for Nano Ledger X. So I try to install the Bitcoin here in this wallet. It's very hard. I don't know if something is not working. It's buggy. Now I see it's installing, Bitcoin is installing, how long? Ah, now it works, cool, processing. Now it works, got it, got it! You successfully installed Bitcoin, close. Okay, so let's check. Accounts, add accounts. Bitcoin, continue. Navigate to the Bitcoin app on your device. Now I got it. Here's the Bitcoin app on one device. When it's installed, you have to first, whoopla, you have to first install the Bitcoin apps. And now you see here the icon Bitcoin. So now we're delegating here to the icon Bitcoin. Application is ready. Connect and unlock your ledger device. It is. Navigate the Bitcoin app on your device. It is. Application is ready. Got it. Continue. Synchronizing. Application is ready. Synchronizing. Ah. Okay. Now add account. Account successfully added. Close. Now I got it. Wow! It's very hard to use. User friendly? No. It's very nice. Nice display. Those two buttons you can click around unuser-friendly touch display this is what I'm waiting for the next version um, the desktop application is nice and the application for the smartphone is very nice so you can unlock it with face ID you can open the manager you can connect your nano ledger X via Bluetooth with the phone connecting Navigate the dashboard. So what's the conclusion? Let's compare the Ledger Nano X with Trezor Model T. This one has a touch display and it's very nice to use. I'm using the Trezor one, this one, and they're all the version like this for many years. This one is the first time for me. I used it today the first time. Those two buttons are fail, very fail. For those who are using 
both of them knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, and I recommend you if you want to like to use and storage your cryptocurrency on a call storage for sure the Trezor Model T, but <coughs> that's a shame that they don't have they don't support so much coins like the ledger dynamics but still they are supporting lots of coins more than 500 sure let's check it on the website they support 1064 coins it's still a lot of still a lot how many coins does nano ledger x supports the ledger nano x supports over 1000 coins and tokens it <laughs> seems like the same but the reason was why I got this one is that you can stake a project here which was not supported by Trezor Model T but I think it's not I think I know it's just a question of the time so that's all for today from my side we compared the Trezor Model T and the Ledger Nano X you have to decide which one is better for you user friendly is better the treasure model t and then i think it's the reason why it costs 50 bucks more 50 euros more france against czech republic so that's all invest carefully and all the best for you see you next time